Am I muted? Okay. <laughs> I'm muted on my stream. All right, hello, hello. <laughs> Are you in the hello. chat? <laughs> awesome. We finally got all the technical difficulties figured out. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's great. Welcome to Hopeless Romantics. I'm so excited for this. Are you excited? <laughs> I am very excited for this. Hell yeah. I this just is... realized I need one thing pulled up. I'm so oh, sorry. Okay, you're fine. <laughs> While you uh, do that, I'll introduce the podcast then. So this is our first episode of Hopeless Romantics. We are reviewing lots of romance novels and smut, you could say, <laughs> across many <laughs> genres. Um, yeah, so I'm one of your hosts, Alyssa, or Nibiru31, and you are more of an expert than I am. You're more of the uh, creator of this podcast, I would say. This was your idea, so you're our resident expert on all things romance <laughs> that feels that feels good i like to i like to believe that um <laughs> hello my name is adrian and i am a professional uh smut reader a connoisseur, <laughs> connoisseur of romance <laughs> uh, i turn this light on real quick of course now that we're streaming the light has changed because yeah <laughs> it has taken it us was three hours <laughs> three hours to set up jesus christ oh yeah but we're here we fucking did it all right um <laughs> so would you like to well okay i guess we didn't talk about our preferences what type of romance books you read a lot of them so what are your you know favorite genres that's uh see let's see favorite genre definitely paranormal um Ooh, vampires okay. werewolves dragons they're hot and <laughs> i love them hell yeah always been a fan uh that's my main they'd probably fantasy would be because those kind of go hand in hand but what about you um okay so i don't read a lot of romance novels to be honest i'm kind of uh, you know that's not really my thing however um we were kind of talking about this and you did point out because i said maybe like period pieces kind of is what i enjoy and you were like oh yeah that makes sense and you were yeah. talking about how i like always watch like viking shows and like like old english things and things like that so 
I would say that yes. that would be my wheelhouse. But also, I'm a huge sci-fi fan, too. So that made the choice of book that we chose this time. It was a, it was a yeah. good choice. It was a good one. It was a good pick. Uh, it was. I really enjoyed it. I have branched out into sci-fi a few times. It's not my go-to, but it's always a fun excursion when I do go there. That's fair. That's fair. All right, let's uh let's get into the slideshow here. So the book that we chose, this is Ice Planet Barbarians. Um, I know you have a summary real quick that you wanted to read. Yes, go yes. ahead and read the summary for it. All right, I um type this up on a whim, guys. Let's do this. <laughs> All right, so our book Ice Planet Barbarians here. Stars Georgie, a human girl from Florida, who never believed in aliens until one night she wakes up from a strange dream aboard a spaceship. She's been abducted by aliens, and they're going to sell her and the other human girls on board to the highest bidder. Torment, Terror, and the other traumatized girls are her only company until suddenly the spaceship they are on begins to malfunction and they crash land on an unknown icy planet. Georgie is elected to go look for help because of her major girl boss energy. And along the way, she meets Vectal. He's big, blue, and ribbed for her pleasure. How is a girl to resist? Will Georgie be able to convince Vectal to help her and make it back in time to save her fellow hostages from death by exposure, hunger, and the many terrifying creatures that roam this planet? The answer requires more sex than you'd think. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Fair enough. It really did. <laughs> there was a lot more... A lot more sex than you would think that was, a rescue mission would need. Yeah, quite a bit. Um, which will lead into like our later discussions of how she might have been a little manipulative in that sense. A little, little tiny bit. But <laughs> first, before we get into it, we already touched on it a little bit. I do want to put a trigger warning. So, trigger warning for rape, sexual assault, abduction, and body horror. There is um, like a parasitic aspect, I guess, to this t story. So... You know, if you are triggered by any of those things, please take it seriously. Don't. I would not read this book if I were you. So, <laughs> it yeah, is what it is. That's fair. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, do we want to describe our characters first? We can go in with that. Oh yeah. Let's right. get it. Let's start. Get the picture. So start imagining. Yes, the big blue alien. <laughs> This is Vectal. He, uh, you know, he's our he's our main uh, romance, I guess. In this book, there's also like a whole tribe of these aliens, so that makes for a fun matchup of all of these <laughs> abducted ladies <laughs> and a whole yeah. massive series. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm gonna go through the slideshow. So first, for a description, we have he has blue suede skin. So they kind of described it as like, kind of like horse-like, right? Like velvety kind of? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So he, and he is so like bluish gray and they vary in color, which is interesting. <laughs> um, and then they also have fangs. And um, lots, sharp teeth hot. Yes, sharp teeth hot. And then horns, <laughs> big old horns. <laughs> And a giant tail. And then also his hair is black. So I'm going to read some quotes here. There's like one long quote that kind of like describes him all. And then of course we already touched on this, but he is ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> one could say. All right. So this quote that I have, let's see. There's some guy with a pair of massive curled horns. Rising, rising from his head between my legs. Horns arise from his hairline and curl around his scalp like a spiky, le lethal helmet. So they're like really, you know, really intense horns there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's blue for one thing. Well, bluish gray with a black mane of hair that reminds me of a lion's mane. His brows are heavy, heavier than any human brow I've seen. His face is rugged like it's carved from stone. Going straight down his forehead to the tip of his nose is a straight, striated pattern of ridges of some kind. His bluish gray skin is slightly darker there. 
So as you see right here, we do have someone has drawn some fan art here. And I will give credit real quick. <laughs> it's um, at Art Luna Wolf. Very talented. She did not have a lot of followers, but I just found this uh, on her Twitter. So, you know, check out that. She has some other really good pieces, too, honestly. Yeah, I was uh, scrolling through her stuff earlier. Yeah, it was really good. It was really good. Yeah. 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 Um, but also, this, I should point out, this alien that she drew is actually from a later book, I believe. Um, so it's not technically a representation of Vectal, but it's very, very close. So, but that's that. All right. And now we're going to get into Georgie. <laughs> uh, do you want to read the quotes for these? So I put the quotes actually on the screen for this because there's like n hardly any description of her in this book like they really they really said this is you you are gonna be yeah. <laughs> like let's let's make this as generic as possible so you know, yeah here we go <laughs> okay <clears throat> so her flesh is almost completely hairless save for the long flowing locks on her crown and a small tuft between her thighs that is revealed as i Pull her leathers from her. I snort with amusement at that tuft. Adorable. Adorable and nonsensical. <laughs> so yeah. This is like... This is the main description of her. Like there's like two other <laughs> things that they describe. And that's it. Yeah. So just imagine like, you know, hair probably. <laughs> hair, well, yes. Hair, hair definitely. definitely. And... And then the bush. That's the all bush. you need. Oh, that's that's, that's all... a person. That's yep. That's a female person. <laughs> Good. Fully realized. <laughs> this was wild to me that he like did not describe her more because like throughout the whole thing, like he cares about her so much. I just feel like I don't know. I feel like he would have been like staring at her or something. Just like, you yeah. know, catching a glimpse. But there was like nothing. It was yep. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I agree because I like felt like Georgie was describing him so much. Yeah, like you know he's weird. Like every time he she looks at him, she's like, "Oh, you don't look like me," and right. I'm used to people that look like me. And I feel like he could have also done that, like more. <laughs> yeah, he definitely did. We'll get to it in a second. He definitely did like <laughs> say that things are weird about her for sure. So, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. The next quote. This is just another quote about her hair again. Uh, this is showing us her hair color. Yeah. The fire is banked to coals and her hair has dried into shiny golden brown curls that are lovely. To see. We learn pay 74 pages <laughs> in that she, that she has, has brown hair. Brown golden hair that are curly. <laughs> 74 pages in after he has already... <laughs> Multiple times, probably they fucked at that. Yeah, point. I would multiple say times. so. Yeah, there was... multiple times. <laughs> and then we'll we get into find that. Out. Why he didn't know what color her hair was? <laughs> oh, that's fair. That's fair. Because <laughs> that is a thing. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. All right. And the next part, I believe. Yes, the next part is uh, is about <laughs> the weird thing. So he. The, the aliens have only four fingers and toes, correct? I correct. think it was four, yeah. So yes. he said, I'm fashion fascinated and a little revolted by those extra fingers. So, you know, just generic hands. That's our other <laughs> illustration here. You got some hands, you got some hair, you're a human woman. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> That's all we're going to describe. <laughs> Let's, and then the next beautiful thing that human women have. Yes. <laughs> the next thing she has fur and other one other spot on her body on her sex and a third nipple between her legs so they don't have a word or i guess i guess their females don't have a clit at all i guess he or just like, thinks that it's a nipple so that yeah. was a fun <laughs> that was a fun thing for him to just be calling it the whole book the her, whole the book. whole book so many times there were multiple That's quotes 
that's what I'm really upset about. <laughs> there was the whole book. The whole time. No, nope, they don't correct that. Nope. I'm just like, she please doesn't, stop calling it a nipple. She doesn't I can't tell stop him picturing a young what it, child what nursing that. there. <laughs> yeah, oh, God. Yeah, that's fair. it's not. That's, I mean, you're not wrong. That's, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was... It was awful. This quote was from when they were, like, describing... They brought the girls back to the camp. Spoilers. Um, <laughs> but they brought the <laughs> girls back to the camp or whatever. And so they were, like, describing... Or I guess this was before they rescued them. But Vectel goes back to the camp with Georgie. And he's, like, describing her to his tribe or whatever. Which... I get, no, we'll go... We'll We'll talk about this later, how it's interesting about the one... Yeah, about him being the chief of the tribe. Um. Anyway, so next, click again. Oh, yes, this part. You are Georgie. They really leaned into the, you know, nondescriptness <laughs> yeah. of describing her. So, that of course, you could immerse yourself as a character and, you know, relate and be Georgie or whatever. But I feel like that's kind of a cop out sometimes. <laughs> I agree. And also, I, I like when. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Oh, I just I like when they have like uh, romantic interests and they're like a fully realized yeah. person outside of like yeah. this person they've met and fallen in love with. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that it makes for boring characters, which we will get into again later. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh yes. Okay. So this I just photoshopped this picture. You know, this is our lovely couple. This is our <laughs> in their little ice biome. They live on a they're on beautiful a planet of ice. You Which, took such good care of this photo. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And they're also do you like how I pose them? They're like embracing each other slightly. <laughs> yes, good. that was very good. prom. Yeah, yeah, that's what I was going for. Ice prom. <laughs> <laughs> ice prom. Yes. Oh yeah, it's the it's the frozen theme. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> we we have uh, you know some let it go playing in the background, like. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> yeah, it's dope. <laughs> All right, I guess that does lead into describing our planet, though that she lands on. So she gets abducted. Obviously, we said that. Um. And then she finds herself, well, okay, so the aliens end up dropping this pot of girls for whatever reason. Um, they drop them on this planet, and they were planning on coming back for them. So they get dropped on this planet, and Georgie, like, goes to look outside, and what does she see? She sees just ice. A shit ton of ice. And two suns. Ew. And then she compares, uh, you know, she compares it to Star Wars because why wouldn't you? <laughs> why? I why mean, would that's you not? our frame of reference for I, aliens. Yep. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that is. Uh, I think we both. Yeah, <laughs> it was a lot. <laughs> it was mentioned a lot. There was a lot of Star Wars reference. Also, should I say this now? Where I kind of am taking. Uh, she, the author, I guess, did not reference the planets correctly, I guess, I should say. Because, like, the, one of the things, they were like, it's not Hoth, but it is Hoth, kind of. So they called it not Hoth. Like, that's so lame, first of all. That's, <laughs> come up with a name for your planet. Come on. You can, <laughs> you can do it. <laughs> I don't think the aliens named their planet. I, now I'm realizing that they didn't have a they name. They didn't have a name at all? Like they never, at least they didn't ask they didn't mention did the humans it. just name it. Like so far, yeah, the aliens yeah. haven't been like, yeah, we call this whatever. Yeah, no, like Georgie just says we should call it not Hoth or whatever. Anyway, so yeah, but the whenever they're describing the planet and like why she's saying that it's not Hoth, quote unquote, is she like lists details, you know, about it being icy or whatever. Obviously, it's a planet of ice, but. The other thing is that she mentions that they have two sons, which I, to be fair, I'm not like a crazy Star Wars fan, but I'm pretty sure that Hoth only had one son and that Tatooine was the one with two sons. So it was like a weird, like, you just keep mentioning Star Wars a lot, but like also it's like not a correct 
analogy kind of it was very odd it was very odd that is odd yeah yeah it was a strange maybe it's more realistic that way (laughs) (laughs) i guess that the reference was wrong the reference was wrong yeah that's fair yeah (laughs) that's fair (laughs) all right do you want to read do you want me to read the uh scenery quotes or do you want to start you can like Uh, trade off yeah you go first i'll give that to you so, in the far distance, there are ma- other mountains, or at least I'm pretty sure they're mountains. They look like big, icy purple crystals the size of skyscrapers. They're different from this mountain. This one is nothing but barren rock. So, there's like giant crystals, you know, that are just jutting out everywhere that are purple. That would be so cool. Be- that's that like would- a dope ice biome <laughs> detail. <laughs> I really like that. I'm-, I'm jealous because they landed on the shitty mountain. Oh, Why couldn't they land on a cool mountain? Yeah, but I bet, I bet in later books they like go to that area or something. You, yeah. There's just like so many possibilities. Like there, are, how many books are in the series? Like twenty two, I think. Okay, that I was thinking it was like so in the twenties. Y- yeah, she's still. That's yeah. right. They're still publishing. <laughs> um, but yeah, there, there's definitely like potential for different areas that they mention that like are really cool and like different sceneries and stuff. So. Yeah, I would be so interested, yeah, to see if they ever do go to the purple crystal things. <laughs> That's so dope. For real. All right. All right. The next, next slide. One? Yeah. All right. The next slide here. Uh, just some more beautiful, barren ice world. <laughs> Don't you just want to snuggle up there? <laughs> so um, inviting. So warm. <laughs> it's really a great planet. But- They had, like, weird trees, so this quote's about the trees. There are tufts of pale bluish green that look more like feathers than leaves, and there's a veritable forest of them. So, they have, like, weird uh, feather trees instead of normal trees, which I always kind of love. Like, I like world building Mm -hmm. when it's different, because I hate when everything is just, like, earth to the left. Earth to the left, yeah. (laughs) For sure. (laughs) Yeah, I I did appreciate that too. There's like some uh did I don't know. I don't know if we grabbed a quote about the creatures at all, but there were like some interesting creatures um too. I don't think described. we grabbed a quote about. But yeah, they were yeah. really You'll have to read the book and find out, huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll spoil everything else but that. <laughs> but that read for just that. <laughs> All right, the next one. Okay, so this is, again, other types of trees. So Vectal points at a copse of pink feathery trees ahead. So all the trees are feathery, but they're different colors. And that just sounds so inviting to me for some reason. (laughs) Even though it is a very cold and terrifying environment. (laughs) That's everything. Like, all of them. I didn't think they met a single nice creature. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> I don't, yeah. But I mean, to be fair, there weren't that many creatures around, I guess. That's fair. So I feel like that's more of like, oh, if you encounter a creature, you're probably going to either eat it or be eaten. <laughs> 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 One of the Maybe two. Maybe both. <laughs> Maybe, yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or in this case, in the fun way. <laughs> that's fair. <laughs> Uh, hilarious all right so our next section oh skipped ahead a little bit (laughs) okay so this was part of feedback we actually um kind of quizzed some people who also uh read this book so we have some slides that have like feedback as well um I'm scrolling in my Word document. Shocker. You want to introduce the next section? (laughs) Got you. Dope. All right. So this section is kind of all about, uh, I would say romance novels in general, they kind of encourage you to put yourself in one of the protagonist's shoes uh, to fully immerse yourself. And so this is kind of, this section where we will be going over us putting ourselves in Georgie's shoes to 
you know, explore the places that she was in, like emotionally and stuff like that. Um, and then we also have feedback here from quiz that we will go over later. Not a quiz. I don't know. <laughs> Survey? <laughs> Survey, sure. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess, okay. Our, I guess the first question we can ask is, after having read this book, how happy would you be if you were in this situation? Like, if this situation happened, and you just had to deal with it, you know? Yeah. So, I uh, I guess I'll go, well, who do you want to answer first? Because I think we have a varying opinion. <laughs> uh, that's fair. I... I would kind of hate it, but also, <sighs> see, okay, we'll talk about this in a second because we have like a red flag section, but there were a lot of red flags. <laughs> there were a lot of red <laughs> flags, but there were also a lot of good qualities too. And like, he, Vectal very much like the aliens were very much like, we need to take care of you and protect you. So like, in a sense... That would be nice, you know, but <laughs> yeah. it's also terrifying. The planet is fucking terrifying and cold, like so cold. <laughs> that would be awful. So I yeah. think, I think I'm going to say like a three and a half with like the potential to just be happy over time then eventually, like okay. more happy with the situation. Does that make yeah. sense? That's reasonable. What about That's a you? very reasonable answer. And I'm going to break that trend right here. <laughs> Fuck no. It's Fuck cold. No. <laughs> I said no. I would like, never. Couldn't be me. <laughs> the whole situation, I just don't want to go through the trauma of being kidnapped. Um, yeah. I don't want to go through the like getting used to or the like i don't know few days while georgie's mm -hmm. gone and i'm starving to death and like yeah potentially have like a broken limb or something that i'm just like chill it with okay but um, wait who says that you're one of the extra girls what if you are georgie what if you're the one roaming off and scampering off with this hot alien i don't want to do that either okay all right <laughs> sorry all right. you're right you're right, right. i'm supposed okay. to be putting myself in georgie's yes. shoes um so I don't want to do, do that either. <laughs> <laughs> I would rather just like lay in the snow and die, I guess, if mm -hmm. I must. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, just accept your fate. Yeah, Good. I don't know. Mm. I don't like, I don't want to struggle like that, man. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, that's, that's, that's fair. <laughs> it was uh, quite a struggle. <laughs> for them to survive yeah. even with vex all there like at one point she hadn't eaten or whatever forever and he was like actually concerned that she was gonna die <laughs> yeah she's so pale so mm -hmm. that's fair what would you do you rate it a zero then or a one <laughs> well He's, um hell no. <laughs> since my form is flawless i will rate it a one because that's the scale Okay, that the sorry. form yes, has. You're right. Yes, it is a flawless <laughs> survey. There's nothing wrong nothing with that wrong form. Nothing wrong with it. Nope. <laughs> nothing whatsoever. So, okay, we had a mixed uh mixed bag of responses. We had two people that said that they would this would be fine. They they're about it. Yeah. This would be fine. This would be great. They love this. This is the life for them. <laughs> I honestly feel like that and the four are unreasonable. How could you vote yeah. this? I'm like one in three. You know what? I accept that I'm more negative than Alyssa <laughs> is. <laughs> That's fair. I kind of just like go with the flow. I I just if that was my life, it would that'd be my life. <laughs> that would be your life. <laughs> it'd be <Yeah>. my life. <laughs> it is what it is. <laughs> And I'd be like, this sucks. Remember on Earth when we had heat? <laughs> Remember when we could, like, you know, have our suns be warm? <laughs> it 
remember when our son provided us with actual warmth? Yeah, <laughs> y'all, y'all got, got two of them two here, of them and they do don't shit. work. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Turn them off and back on again. <laughs> we need plug them to back get in. some like smog up in this bitch so that the, <laughs> <laughs> the greenhouse gases greenhouse can gases. keep it all in. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's the perfect planet for capitalism. <laughs> it's perfect. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's the the fun discoveries too. What the fuck is under all that ice? Oh my gosh. Well, I mean those like they definitely had like other m- vicious monkey creatures that were like living Oh in yeah. The ice caves <laughs> and tunnels and stuff. Yeah, I don't know. They, I mean terrifying. to be fair, they did say that there wasn't like a ton of wildlife or like Bechtel said that like, I don't know, they named, like, five animals or something the whole time. Like, they, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, and they didn't encounter nearly that many. Like, I think maybe they encountered one of each type that they talked about, potentially. But, yeah. It was, like, not a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's fair. There were a lot of those bamboo nose fish. Yeah, that's fair. That that That's, was what a good I really way to like describe them. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I I just want to put that out there, Ruby Dixon. Um I like the bamboo nosed fish. Yeah, those I were cool. I think we should bring that back. I think that you Loki, hi Ruby, what's up? Loki, you should <laughs> <laughs> never going to see this ever. <laughs> ever. What's up? Um so, you know, your uh your your creation of characters is really dope and maybe you should do that more. <laughs> I don't I obviously haven't read these other books. I can't really that's not a fair judgment, but <laughs> that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. I say this having read one and a half books. Yeah, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Well, next question. So we've already established how happy we would be. <laughs> <laughs> But do you fuck the alien? Do do you fuck the alien if you're in this situation? Do you? I I do. I I do. I would. I would. I would fuck this alien. <laughs> do I, I feel like I have to whisper it like it's a secret. <laughs> it's a secret for the internet and this podcast only. <laughs> so everyone. Yeah, well, you know. Yeah. Well, I mean, but I'm not a very, like, I'm an open book. I'm not a very <laughs> private yeah. person. It's fine. I wanted to fuck worse things. That, that's okay. That's, yeah. <laughs> let's get that out there. We'll just put that out there. <laughs> this was a tame monster. <laughs> yeah. He was basically person shaped. He just had he some was. extra that's, bits. That's fair. Yeah. And like the extra bits and they were, were like, like designed for, yeah, yeah. <laughs> They were yeah. not bad bits. Like, his dick was a vibrator, essentially. That's that's not bad. <laughs> Dope. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, right? the horns alone and the fangs. I the mean, horns. Okay, the horns are kind of hot. I'm not gonna lie. The, so horns, the horns are kind of hot, and the fangs. Yeah, that. But that's like, you know, ah, vampires. That just <laughs> <laughs> that throws back to that, I guess. <laughs> a. A werewolves too. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. All right. Everything so perfect. another thing that we have not discussed yet <laughs> is the parasite. So yes. essentially, when they get to this island, um, the creatures on the island can't or island planet why am i saying island it's not an island kind of like an island (laughs) yeah kind (laughs) of so they get to this planet right humans can't survive on this planet or i don't i don't know what the like discrepancy was like as far as is it all creatures that need the qui that's what it's called it's k-h-u-i and they pronounce it qui it's a very (laughs) yeah it was a strange word anyway (laughs) Continue. What were you saying? Um, it's not all creatures that need it, but they and the humans are both spoilers not from that planet originally. Yes. Right. And there is like a gas in the air that specifically messes with those people. 
Right. So they have to find, um, they have to find like this beast essentially, and then they hunt it. And then there's these parasites that live within the beast. And then they have to like, it has to like go inside of you so that you can survive. <laughs> like it has to, you have to host this parasite for the rest of your time on this planet. I almost said island again. Planet. <laughs> so, yeah. I guess, well, first of all, okay, so the time frame on this is like, like two weeks or something like that. I thought it was like or seven less days. than that. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was less long. than that too, but I, yeah. Okay, cool. So it's like seven days that you have to survive. So you like have to make this decision pretty much right off the bat of like, Hey, you want to, you want to live or die yeah. on this planet, <laughs> which I mean, at that point, if you've already been abducted, I'm taking the parasite probably, but also that like grosses me out. <laughs> like <laughs> parasites gross me out in general. And so, yeah, that's also why I made sure to put that trigger warning at the beginning of this because <laughs> it uh, it bothers me. So <laughs> maybe it bothers someone yeah. more. I don't know. <laughs> that's the, that's true because we mm. were we tried not to talk about this too much together because we wanted it to be kind of new information that we were yeah. reacting to. And but I could tell that Alyssa did not friggin' like this worm business. No, no it was not about it. I would no, no, thank you. That's I was like, eh, eh. beats dying. <laughs> I mean, I guess there are like positives to getting. I mean, other than not dying, obviously you like get to survive longer. But um, it also like I don't did it make her stronger? It like made her able to survive the cold. A little bit better. Um, yeah. And it made them heal faster. Yeah, it like, makes them heal faster and stuff like that. And then they also had, um, there was like a healer in the camp or something that could heal if you had the queen in you already, then it like she could heal it somehow. So I, there's mm -hmm. definitely benefits to like getting this. You're... There's also like drawback too, for sure. Oh, yeah, wait. Oh, we didn't... Okay, they at one point, didn't they say that it might not take? Yeah. And that you could die? You could, like, mm -hmm. die from just not accepting the parasite. The parasite said, ew. Yeah. Is this it, this person? This one? Uh, no. <laughs> not no. me. Couldn't be me. Skirt, skirt. <laughs> <laughs> it, and then it dies. I think they die immediately. Because, like, yeah. it's, like, a big rush mm -hmm. to get them in the... So the yeah. scene is so funny to me because they like slaughter this gigantic <laughs> creature and Huge. they're like, get the worms, get, get and the worms, like, get them running around like getting people to take worms. Yeah. <laughs> like take your daily vitamins take before they vitamin. die in the cold. Yeah. So, okay. One of the dynamics though, with this parasite on the planet and them, uh, like not being from the planet and them having to take this parasite, their uh, their children when they give birth, they have to go kill one of these animals. Like every time that they have a kid, and they have to do it within the first week of them, you know, being born, or else the babies will not make it. So there's like that aspect. The tribe is dwindling, and there's like a whole like. Okay, it's it's just a breeding kink. Like it's a it's a whole thing. There's just like very much a breeding kink that's just let's call it what it is <laughs> undertoned throughout this whole novel. <laughs> but I mean, their tribe is like you know dwindling away. They're I think they had two, I believe, females of the their race. Yeah, or was or it four. three? Oh shit. Okay, but a very very uh. small amount. Like imagine just four. And I think, okay, wait, one of them, though, I think was still a child, though, right? Like, they had just been born. I think there was, like, four total yeah. with the child. So it's, it was really, oh, like, my... three, I think. I, anyway, there there just was not a lot. So the tribe is, like, dwindling. And that's, like, a whole thing. Um, Sounds like an excuse for a breeding kink to me. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> Flimsy excuse. Flimsy <laughs> excuse. 
<laughs> oh, <laughs> is your tribe dwindling? <laughs> Where? Sprinkling a breeding kink in there. <laughs> Just a little <laughs> sprinkle. <laughs> Um, but yeah. Let's see. So yeah, oh. that's like the parasite aspect. What? What were you gonna say? Oh, I just had a question. What's up? Well, <laughs> I. <laughs> Sorry, this feels like I'm asking you personally, but no. I uh, would you rather be awake or asleep? <laughs> I love how there was no context for that question. Just You're welcome. <laughs> it's good. I'm good at this. <laughs> so to explain that, <laughs> what that means. So, okay. The girls were abducted. Yes. Um, Georgie, when she wakes up on this spaceship, the girls that she interacts with are and herself are technically extra. So the aliens that have abducted all these girls or whatever have already met their quota and there's all of these girls that are in like I guess capsules. I don't know. What are they like to, you know, preserve yeah, their like, bodies, like keep them asleep. Tube, tube. Yeah. yeah. So they're in like preservation tubes or whatever that are like lining these walls of the um, area that the other girls are being kept in that are awake and are extra. So the aliens were just trying to make some more money because they are sex trafficking all these humans. <laughs> so the question with that is, would you rather have been in the situation of being in the capsule and then eventually getting rescued by the group of aliens and Georgie or whatever, or would you rather have been in Georgie's shoes where she's conscious the whole time for all of the stuff leading up to this? And she has like a little bit more time, I guess, to process some things but also she sees a lot of a lot of shit that the girls that were in the capsules did not have to see um specifically specifically the rape scene that's at the very very beginning within the first like 10 to 15 pages so yeah that yeah. thing slapped me across the face <laughs> it, yeah and i like i knew that it was coming too because i like you had already read it and warned me too and then i had already read that that was going to be a thing too but yeah <laughs> it was it was not great so yeah. would you rather have been one of the capsule girls or awake i i have two thoughts about this um if i was personally making the choice um, which I guess I kind of am with the, all the knowledge <laughs> that I uh -huh. have. Yeah. Um, I would want to be awake because I don't like not knowing shit. I was lit. Yes, that's my answer too. <laughs> I was going to say the exact same thing. I would want to, that's just how I am as a person though. Like in general, I just want, you know, I would want to be aware of what's going on. Like at least yeah. I would know like. Like, where everyone's coming from, where, yeah. like, the lay of the land, I guess. It's mm -hmm. more gradual that way. Yeah. Huh. That's fair. It's getting oh, so dark in here. There we go. That's better. There's, like, a spotlight on me now. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is setting. I guess I should have yeah. planned for that better. Um, But, yeah. I would also want to be awake. I think that... I just, I think it'd be so jarring. Like, it was already jarring for her to just, like, wake up on this spaceship. But, like, she, I don't know, like, at least had a fighting chance. And then she ended up saving everyone, too. Mm -hmm. Which was dope. Because they for sure would have just died. Like, I get, well, I guess the girls in the capsules, like, if they would have just left them there, they would have been picked up by the aliens again, though. Because the aliens did come back that, like, initially abducted them. So... I mean, maybe I, maybe the other end of that would have been a better outcome, <laughs> but probably not. <laughs> I don't probably think so. Not. I don't think so From either. From context clues. Yeah. I, nothing yeah. good was on the other end of that spaceship. <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Fair enough, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
All right. Does that do we want to transition into red flags now? <laughs> uh, yeah, I think that pretty much covers all of the additional. Hell yeah. All right. So how do you want to do this? Do you want to we're we just going to start listing some red flags? <laughs> oh, actually, yes. Um, sorry. We were going to do the scenes that we wanted to discuss. The additional scenes. Oh, was that first? Okay. Yeah, we can do that. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. You're fine. Keeping it All on right. track. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to switch slides back. Okay. Um. Yeah, so additional things to talk about. Uh, do you want to talk about the chief thing first? Let's let... Uh, you go for it. Oh, okay. So I thought it was really, really weird that he was like the chief of the tribe because he just like was out in the middle of nowhere, like hunting or something, which I mean, I guess that's like a chiefly thing to do, I guess. But like, shouldn't you have hunters for that? I don't (laughs) like it was just very strange. And it like they didn't mention it until like they got to the camp right so it was like a kind of a nice surprise but like also a little weird just felt weird yeah for the character. i mean at least he didn't brag about it i guess <laughs> wasn't like, yeah I'm that's the fair chief. yeah why why don't you take my parasite <laughs> <laughs> i'm the chief eat this parasite <laughs> yeah yeah that's fair I like I mean I respect that he was out hunting. I feel like he should maybe be leading a pack of hunters. <laughs> yeah. Instead of it being such a solitary thing, it seems like a bad That's a good way fair. to lose a chief. But they did uh what was his name? Ro- Rohash? Ra- Rahosh? <laughs> Rahosh. <laughs> Rahosh. <laughs> Rahosh. Rahosh. <laughs> um he was also like off by himself on a hunting trip too. So like maybe they just are kind of like the apex predator of the planet, but like not, I don't know. Like, cause they weren't hunting. Like, obviously they hunted that big creature in a group. Mm-hmm. So maybe there's just like not a whole lot of other things. And they're just kind of like the biggest thing on the planet. You know what I mean? You've read more books than me, so maybe I'm wrong, but <laughs> <laughs> I just like, I agree that it, some people should go off hunting by themselves. I yeah, just don't just think not the chief. chief yeah, <laughs> I agree. It was. It just felt like a weird character decision. Yeah, but I also I can kind of see why she did that though, because like imagine if imagine if someone else were to like bring back a strange alien creature to their camp, and then they're not the leader, and the leader might have a problem with it. Then, like, that could cause a whole nother slew of issues. So, I kind of but, I kind of get why she did it. Yeah. But that would have just been, like, another part of the story, I guess, mm-hmm. too. Yeah. Like, if the like another had dynamic. An issue, yeah. Yeah. But I also don't think, as much as I don't like that Georgie just kind of marries into being ahead of something that she yeah. doesn't understand. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think anyone else deserved to be like chief wife either. So if they had brought some other chick back yeah. and she resonated, I would have been like, excuse you. No. Yeah. So I think ultimately it's fine. Um, maybe I would have preferred if the chief just like had a mate that was already this alien race. Yeah. And then we had the political intrigue of he doesn't approve. That's fair. I mean, that kind of does play into the, like, there's not that many females, though, because Mm -hmm. Vectal had a mate before, but then she ended up resonating with another member of the tribe or something like that, right? And then they were a couple. So, I mean, he, he did beforehand, but yeah. Yeah. Then his, oh, his that's, mate got taken, kind of. <laughs> yeah, that's something, not to jump back to the parasite thing, but <laughs> that is something that also was kind of a drawback about the parasites. Um, 
you mm. just it just decides yeah uh, so who yeah no go ahead go ahead oh <laughs> uh it just decides who you have babies with um basically you don't have a choice it makes you super horny mm-hmm. um for one particular person and it's just trying to like kind of i don't even know what it's doing because it's not procreating inside of you like you still have to get another parasite to put it in the baby right right i'm not i'm not sure why that was a function either (laughs) of the parasites um yeah i don't know i'm i'm wondering if it like maybe has something to do with the creature that they got it off of more so than like the aliens of the tribe i yeah i don't know yeah that I guess that's just a fun <laughs> side effect that yeah. it keeps you alive. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, you don't have a choice of like, like if you're, if your little parasite resonates for someone and they don't resonate back then, and they resonate with someone else, then they can just, you know, they're going to go with that. Which is what happened to poor, poor old Vectal. And he just, he just wants somebody to love. <laughs> he just needs somebody. <laughs> yes, the, ch- the chief, the poor, poor chief. Yeah, he's so alone. Uh, he really does. Finally, he really does seem to be affected by that, though, and like not having a family and stuff like that. Like it is a very like, I don't know. He's a very tender alien at times. <laughs> <laughs> he's touching. Yes. Yeah. Which uh, brings me to the next scene that I would like to discuss that really struck a chord with me. His introduction, we'll call it, to Georgie. Yeah. <laughs> um, he's so overcome with emotion and relief at meeting his resonance, as I believe he calls her a few times. Yes, he does. <laughs> he is compelled to uh meet her with his mouth <laughs> quote unquote <laughs> <laughs> yeah there is uh i mean do we want to talk about this now or in the red flag section should we just That's lead fair. into the red flag section do you have any yeah. other additional scenes cuz I... this this scene that we are referring to is a non-consensual uh giving of head <laughs> so that was a red flag. I'll just flag. come back. I'll circle back. Okay, we'll circle later. back. All right, all right, all right. That's fair. So now, well, okay. Do you have any other for any other additional scenes? I guess that you want to uh, discuss now, or do you want to move I on? Think, I think my red flags do bring up off these additional. Okay. All right. Well, we will move on to the red flag section then. So. We'll do Georgie first. We'll do all of her character analysis, I suppose. <laughs> first. Yeah. Um, do you want to start with your red yeah. flags? Okay. My red flags for Georgie are as follows. Um, I really, really don't like that she refers to her partner and his people as barbarians. Mm-hmm. It, it is cringe. Mm-hmm. They are not barbarians. That's a good and point. It's like, girl, that's a get over it. That's you're a in flag a on the world. play. That's a flag on the play. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're judgmental. Red flag. Red flag. Red flag number one. Um, there were another red flag. They often did it like covered in poop for the minute for the. That's beginning fair. there yeah that yeah <laughs> and that was what I we just, were referring to earlier when we were like there are reasons he didn't know the color of her hair <laughs> yeah there are reasons <laughs> like i get it they didn't know where well she didn't know where to bathe um but i feel like she was too quick to look to overlook that yeah like that would have been a bigger deterrent for me <laughs> that's that's fair, but also it was it kind of like a thing where like he's a barbarian and he's an alien, so like whatever. 
I don't care. I'm just That's saying. Just- <laughs> I agree. I agree 100%. <laughs> but I'm just saying. That I don't could know. have been the thought process. I don't know. Maybe she just like wasn't as concerned because whatever. She's going to die anyway. <laughs> She was like, I don't need, he doesn't have standards because I have no respect (laughs) for him. And I don't have standards either now. Yeah. 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 So Um, that's it. So that's two red flags. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) Were those Um, your only two? Oh, okay. You had another. No, I had a third. It was a very important red flag. Yeah. Um, The Star Wars references. Too many. (laughs) Too many. Why are you familiar with Star Wars? Too many. Get that shit out of here. (laughs) That's the red flag. I'm sorry. Uh, Star Trek only. <laughs> yes. Compared- Star Trek only. <laughs> Star Trek superior. <laughs> Fight me in the comments below. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was all of your red flags. Those are all my red flags. Mine kind of go along the lines of like the judgy type of thing. Like mine were character flaws, I guess. So I said she's a little bit selfish. She's a little selfish. She uh, definitely postponed a little bit. When she could have gone back to the girls. And she even says that. She admits it. Mm-hmm. And then is still like, but I'm going to fuck this alien, though, in this cave. Yeah. <laughs> and we'll go I back was... later. It's fine. Oh, my God. I was screaming at the book at that. <laughs> yeah. 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 But they did. The girls <laughs> did call her out on that, like, a little bit. They were like, oh, so you just around here, like, going off and fucking aliens while we're back here <laughs> dying? That's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm glad that they did say something about that a little bit. <laughs> did they come back to another girl dead? Yeah. Yeah, one of the girls did die. Because she... Georgie was gone so long, and the girl, like, went out to look for her. Oh, yes. Because yes. Georgie was initially planning on coming back, like, the next day, if that. Like, she wasn't planning yeah. on being out there forever or whatever, and she told the girls that, too. So... Yeah, someone did die because they went and, like, looked for her and didn't have a big sexy alien to keep them from dying five million times. (laughs) Oh, my God. (laughs) Yeah. So, a little bit selfish. That's a little bit of a red flag. And then my other red flag, well, I have two more. Um, She's a little bit manipulative. A little manipulative. She, uh, at one Mm -hmm. point, they also... She's like, well, I don't want him to think that I just want to sleep with him so he can help me, like, save these girls in this mountain. But, like, I'm going to do it because it will help <laughs> with that. And I was like, that's a little manipulative. Just just a tad bit. But, like, it's for survival. I'm... Yeah. So <laughs> less manipulative. But then also. I'm yeah. But still a red <laughs> flag a little bit. I don't know. Mm-hmm. And then my last red flag is kind of just um she's boring. <laughs> I don't know if that's really a red flag, but like she just she was very boring to me. She did not have a lot of depth as a character and I know that that was like because they wanted you to imagine yourself in her shoes and whatever, but she's boring. <laughs> Um, I'll call that a character flaw for sure. Like, maybe I wouldn't put it on red flag, but yeah. I would call it a character flaw. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Some depth, that's girl. Fair. Right? Exactly. All right, so she has six red flags that we threw out there. Yeah. Six of them, you know? It's good shit. So but then overall, the, um, the chart here, yeah. everyone kind of said, two yeah everyone else was two there was someone that said there were like three ish you know three on that scale that's fair um would you i guess because we were throwing out the red flags i guess that like the number of red flags doesn't necessarily like correlate exactly to where we would put them on the scale yeah so i would say it's like a some of them like add up to one red flag yeah so what would be your rating all right, I I would give it a three. Okay. Um. Yeah. Because I agree with some of yours that I did not say. That's fair. I'm not gonna actually give her Star Wars as a red flag. Yeah. But some of Alyssa's yeah. red flags were good. <laughs> I'm also gonna say a three because you're like the judgment thing where she's like a little judgy. That's fair. I did not 
I hadn't really considered that either. So yeah, that's fair. So three and three from from us, from both of us. <laughs> yes. Hell yeah. All right. Now, since we talked about red flags, we're now going to go to this section that I like to call green butterflies. <laughs> yes. So let me just explain <laughs> the logic <laughs> since this is episode one. <laughs> the logic behind this was I found a really cool gif for a red flag. <laughs> as you saw (laughs) in our last segment. (laughs) And then I was like, okay, well, what can we do for like positive qualities? So I was like, I'll just look up like a green flag. And of course that was not like, cause you know, red flags is like a saying. So that's a more common thing. So they didn't have any green flags. And I was like, ugh, that's lame. But I was scrolling and I was scrolling through everything and I saw a butterfly that was really cool. And it was green or whatever. And I was like, this will work because it's like when you get butterflies, you know, with like your new little, your little boo, your little, <laughs> your little crush, you're getting little butterflies. So that's going to be like your our good alien qualities. Chief. Yeah. Your alien <laughs> chief. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Who saves you from the harsh winter. <laughs> yeah. That's a normal everyday experience when you get yeah. butterflies. <laughs> yeah. The norm. We can all relate to that for sure. Uh huh. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> I did not have that many things to say about Georgie. I'm going to be honest. I only had two of them. So I think you might have this one on your list too, but I put down that she murked a guard (laughs) because she does like kill a guard. And while like some people could say that might be a red flag, you know, murdering someone or something, I guess I should say. But it was for survival, and it was kind of badass, and very much a girl boss moment. Like, (laughs) literally, the rest of the girls just left her to kill this guard by herself when the plan was to rush him and then overwhelm him. And they just left her. Just they just were like, "Hey, I'm just gonna watch you <laughs> from like <laughs> over here." <laughs> Knowing damn well what happens when you piss off a guard. Yeah, when you piss off a guard, you automatically get R worded. Like that's just their punishment, and that's what yeah. that scene was in the first 15 pages. Was someone was like acting up, and that was their punishment. Not cool. So yeah, the other girls. Fuck y'all. <laughs> like, y'all were some bitches for that. Fake. <laughs> Fake ass bitches. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> oh my god. Like, the. Okay. So that's just like, you know, when somebody hypes you up to make a fucking stupid decision. Yeah. That sucks. Yeah. But like, but like, this is a life or death situation, yeah. too. It's not even just like, this is a funny <laughs> haha thing. No. Like, could have died, could have been raped, could have whatever. Instead, she kills a guard because she's yeah. badass. <laughs> so, yeah, she ends up love to see it killing him anyway without the girl's help because fuck y'all. She don't need nobody <laughs> <laughs> except for this alien, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't know that yet. That's fair. All right. And then the second um, green butterfly I have I had to rack my brain for something. I'm going to be honest, but she is a fairly quick learner and I feel like she's fairly intelligent. So I will give her that as like a good quality, you know, that's attractive Mm. to me type of thing. That's all I got for her. That's (laughs) for our (laughs) nondescript friend. (laughs) I agree. Okay. Um, that's actually, I didn't even think about that. Uh, that's an additional green butterfly (laughs) to me. Um, I really just put one on here, which was that, no, I'm sorry. I put two. She's brave. Okay. Comes up with and executes the plan to help them escape, which you talked about kind of like Mm -hmm. she killed a guard, but. Yeah, more like all of that. She was brave in that. And also, I just really liked that she went out there and looked for help. I appreciate that she was willing to take charge. Okay. Um, even That's fair. if it was not necessarily her idea. Yeah. And like, also, I feel like she didn't really have a choice 
because literally no one else was going to and they have already exhibited that they have already exhibited that they are useless (laughs) so yeah (laughs) that would have sucked i would have been so annoyed like are you fucking kidding me (laughs) they all just sit there i would have yelled at them (laughs) like what the fuck (laughs) yeah (laughs) yeah (laughs) Yeah, I mean, a lot of the girls were, like, hurt because um, spaceship crashes are not, like, you know, um, <laughs> they don't leave you intact very well. You're yeah. kind of injured. <laughs> That's fair. From, But, I mean, even before that, like, with the guard situation, yeah. like, they had already done proven to me <laughs> that they're mm-hmm. not going to do shit, so. Not shit. Clearly. Shit all of y'all. I got to step up, and I do, like, that's that's how I am, too, so. It did. I guess they accomplished the goal of like, you're a Georgie. <laughs> but yeah. That's fair. <laughs> All right. So those were her green butterflies, as we're calling them. <laughs> How many beautiful green butterflies fluttered in your stomach for George? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Well, just the two. I think it was pretty, uh, you know, I would give her a two. Okay, I couldn't convince you on a third because you convinced me on a third, so I'm giving her that's three fluttery yeah. butterflies. I just I feel like she was just very meh to me, so like I'm kind of combining them, I suppose. That's fair. Given half points, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's my reading system, you know. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's <laughs> I make the rules. She doesn't deserve here. that third butterfly. <laughs> exactly. And I'll make it. Exactly. So <laughs> only two. You only get two, and that's being generous. <laughs> <laughs> you listen here, you George. Listen here. Listen, Ruby. Ruby again. Ruby. <laughs> Your character gets a two. <laughs> All right. So, what is next? What is next? Oh yes, we're gonna rank them on the <laughs> on this scale: male wife, mansplain, manipulate, gaslight. Gatekeep and girl boss. Yeah. So again, we're doing Georgie. So how would you rate Georgie on this scale? Georgie has supreme girl energy. Um, you I mean, you said it earlier. She killed a man. That's girl boss energy. She did kill a man. Well. Well, not a man. Whatever. <laughs> She killed a. She killed a vicious basketball being. head. She killed a rapist. What they called them. She killed, she a, killed rapist. a rapist. We love to see a it. serial rapist. We love that. Okay, good job. <laughs> good job. Rid rid the universe of the filth. <laughs> yeah. Um. I also feel like she demonstrates quick thinking, which we d- touched on earlier. Which I think all young entrepre- entrepreneurizing girl bosses need. That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, so, so girl boss, girl boss. So I did it slightly differently. I have like multiple categories, and like Fair. gave them percentages. So if you would also, you know, because I don't, I think we had talked about a little bit that we were kind of discussing two categories for some of them. So, mm-hmm. but I said that she is seventy five percent girl boss and twenty five percent manipulate. <laughs> okay, I like that. Yeah, yeah, it, it fits pretty combine- well. You know. Yeah. The scales here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a, I don't know, math. So graphs, picture a graph with correlations <laughs> that I. <laughs> yeah, three fourths girl boss, one fourth manipulate. Yeah, I made I made them easy percentages for this reason, <laughs> for discussion purposes. <laughs> um, yeah. So that's how I would. I I don't know. I feel like because. Obviously, we've covered, like, the girl boss stuff, but I do think that she was, like, a little bit, like, selfish slash manipulative and, like, well, this benefits me more, so. Yeah. Surprise! (laughs) 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 But, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah. (laughs) Um, Looking at the data from our responses, yeah. Most people did agree, girl boss. Some people some, Yeah. Gatekeep. Some people said gatekeep. And I don't did you ask people then? Did we go back on these and uh get some feedback as to why they rated them this or no? 
No, okay. I did not get that. I am not sure because we kind of discussed this a little bit earlier. I am not sure why they said gatekeep. I like don't... if anyone's in chat and you want to tell me why yeah. gatekeep, why go for why it. your reasoning behind that? That's fair. Um, yeah, you know what I realized? Yeah. I haven't even had my chat on this whole. Time. <laughs> also, um, if you want to leave a comment. Anyone. Uh, later on on the VOD and you feel gatekeep is the answer, let me know why because I yeah. want to tell you you're wrong. <laughs> but maybe is you can convince we're me. we're just here to confront people on their opinions? Yeah. <laughs> you're I wrong. I will um, join me over on my Twitter where we argue nonsensically <laughs> in a circle. Join me on my Twitch channel when I berate you for your... <laughs> 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 yeah no we would never <laughs> i would i'm not nice <laughs> he said i would i'm not <laughs> all right i'm pulling on my chat now so oh That's... i do have a viewer interesting don't know who that is say hello hi to you <laughs> okay H hello to the dedicated viewers over on my channel hell yeah um thank you for leaving funny jokes i I'm not looking at them because oh, no. they'll make me break. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> All right. We want to move on to Vectal now? Yes. Let's right. get Vectal out of Vectal's red flags. So I know that you don't have very many, I believe, on this list. Is this the one? Yes. Okay. So uh, do you want to go first? Yes. Nope. Yeah. Let's do this. All right. Um, Vectal's red flags for me are the non-consensual carpet munching. Facts. That was not cool, buddy. I, I my... too had that. <laughs> and again, way too comfortable ignoring poop for sex. I can't I, do it. Yeah, that's fair. I, uh, that's another red flag that I hadn't put in there, but you're right. Also, the <laughs> first red flag, since we both had it, and also it's like a major red flag, it's very large on the screen right now. <laughs> Just thought you might want to know. <laughs> Thanks. It's giant. Yes. Uh, Nibiru31's channel has a cooler VOD with extra things. I have, yes, I have graphics set up, but we are going to be uploading uh, my version to both of our YouTube channels, so... Um, if you guys are watching this later, you know, head on over to the YouTube channels or something. Um, ba -bum -bum -ba. All right. So give me those flags. Yeah. So I also had the non-consensual head. I'm just going to throw up another one. That deserves two red flags. Anyway, <laughs> so That's one right. from each of us. <laughs> Um, okay, so I said he was a little bit too protective of Georgie. And what I mean of that, like, it became detrimental to the other girls, in my opinion. Because, like, he, they had gotten supplies and, like, furs and stuff like that to keep Georgie warm. And she, like, specifically brought back a shit ton of them so that she could share with the other girls. And he did not want her to share with the other mm -hmm. girls like at all so, like it was kind of hindering other people then like it got to that point and that's the reason that i put it down as a red flag because it just seemed like and i don't think like he's not it's not in like a malicious way that he's like protective of her but it was mm -hmm. like potentially screwing over other people yeah so that's why i, I would, put it I, down yeah i would say also he's a chief so yeah that's like bigger yeah honestly. and he should understand like hey i'm just trying to take care of my fucking people bro like the yeah. fuck yeah again weird choice that he was a chief i <laughs> i don't that still baffles me i don't understand why that was a dynamic maybe there's something down the line that will like change my mind but probably not <laughs> maybe this point out the inherent flaw in this like soulmate mate system because mm -hmm. he can't really be arbitrary like or sorry like objective 
Yeah. Um, in those situations. Like, because right. she's above everything. Right. Yeah, she's, like, all-consuming to him. Like, he's just obsessed. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, that's he's a little bit. standing too hard. It's a little bit of a red flag. Like, whenever it, you know, could potentially hurt other people, that's, yeah. Yeah. Um, I also put the breeding kink as a red flag, because I'm not into that. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not really into that. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it was a lot it wasn't even so much of like I don't want to say this like the breeding kink itself is not like the issue it's just like the overall theme of like yes children <laughs> does that make sense that's fair <laughs> I mean definitely if I was in that freaking society yeah, that would I mean I guess my life would be different and maybe I wouldn't be as petrified of children as I am, but mm. since I am, but like, if okay. I was abducted at 22, <laughs> I would not want to be a freaking mom. Hell no. Nah. Or hell no. Nah. Whatever. Let's not even get into how there aren't <laughs> non binary people in this society, probably. That, yeah, that's fair. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> I'm out of the equation. I do not exist. <laughs> we don't exist there. It's fine. <laughs> it yeah. is what it is. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, so that was another red flag. Um, I also, the parasite thing, he wants to put a parasite in me. That's, which also, like, you know. Children? Children and the queen. So, <laughs> two, more than one parasite? Two you wanna, parasites? <laughs> you want me to I take draw the line. more than one parasite for you, sir? Yeah. I mean, she did, she did say that the dick was good. It was a... <laughs> I don't. I don't think there for a could good be... rib to dick. Would you take two parasites? No, <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Maybe to live. To live. That's fair. But not. No, not for. Not okay. for someone else. No. No, thank you. <laughs> That's not on my list of things to do. <laughs> um, the last red flag. This is kind of funny because it ties into my first. Um green butterfly which we'll see in a second but my last red flag he's an alien that's that's it he's an alien you you speciesist over here listen we'll we'll get to the next we'll get to the green flag (laughs) but all right well we gotta get to these green flags so i want to know what that means (laughs) we gotta rate we gotta rate this first so out of Uh. five (laughs) out of five Red flags, how many? Ooh. Um keeping three. In... Okay, really? Okay. All right. All right. I'm rating him a 5. All I see <laughs> are red flags. <laughs> but I told you this before. You'll see in our next section, I also have like a shit ton of green butterflies for <laughs> Oh, it's fine. Um, yeah, I'm gonna give him a solid five, though, <laughs> on the red flag yeah. scale. It was a. Uh, I feel like maybe well, maybe like a four and a half. I'll revise <laughs> it to a four and a half. Yeah, like a half a point off. <laughs> There's just a flag at half. Yeah, half mast. <laughs> yeah, half mast flag. Yeah. <laughs> Um, okay, well, you said three. That seems to be, well, that's that's one of the more popular uh, ratings, I guess, on our little chart over here <laughs> of the five yeah. responses we got. Some people said one flag. I'm assuming <laughs> that these are the same people that were like, yes, this is the life for me <laughs> at the beginning of this. That's fair. It's probably a fair assumption. <laughs> yeah, I'm- they're like, yes, I love this life. I love this life and this alien. And this and these parasites. <laughs> yeah. Mm. All right. Ready to dedicate my life to having children and being cold. And being cold. Sounds awful. That's your whole existence. Yeah. Having kids and I being just, cold. Gross. The struggle of that. <laughs> Honestly, that sounds terrible. (laughs) All right. So now 
as I said before, one of my red flags, he's an alien. Butterfly number one, he's hot. He's a hot alien. He's hot. <laughs> he is an alien, but he's hot. <laughs> I'm attracted to it. It is what it is. <laughs> That's my number right. one. <laughs> um, what else? He's caring. Was another green butterfly. He definitely, like, dotes on her a lot. And definitely, like, you know, is out hunting for her and all that stuff. Like, he's keeping her safe. Because he's overly protective as fuck. But he is keeping yeah. her alive. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's that's good. Um, tying in with that, his survival skills... Hot. <laughs> <laughs> Super hot. <laughs> you find me someone who's good out in nature. Perfect. <laughs> um, what else? What else? Oh, I put that he... The last one I have is that he likes to cuddle. Because <laughs> they do be cuddling a lot. And he's like all Aww. about it. And it's very cute. And I like that. That's fair. Yeah. So those were mine. <laughs> oh, that's adorable. I agree. I didn't put on there that he was hot. I, that was a very <laughs> strong attribute uh -huh. of his. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Just uh, the yeah. horns, the fangs, everything. Good. Good. Yeah. Um, but also, he was patient. I appreciated that. That's fair. Um, it wasn't. Like, I mean, I guess it's because the sun shines out of Georgie's ass to him. <laughs> the, the two suns. But yes, both suns. <laughs> both suns. Um, <laughs> but, like, oh he didn't hate her for how confused and, like, terrible at survival she was. Yeah, that's fair. That is fair. Yeah. Ooh. Also, um, handmade. Handmade what? You cut out. Oh, handmade gifts. Like, oh, yeah. he, there was a quote in there about how he's going to make her a comb for her I, hair. Yeah, the bone comb. I forgot about that. You're right. <laughs> that sounds like an innuendo. <laughs> I know. They said it in the book. That's why <laughs> it made me laugh. I was like, oh, oh okay. All right. <laughs> the, bone the bone comb. comb. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair. Okay. That's when I hadn't written down either. I'm also going to add another one. Wild. Okay. I love the way that he, like, talks about her. Like, the language that he uses when he talks about her. Of, like, mm -hmm. I don't, like, I'm going to protect her and, like, blah, blah, blah. Just, like, the way and the words that were chosen, like, you know. Good job, Ruby. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ruby, again. <laughs> Great job. <laughs> Great job on his uh, dialogue. Even when, like, she couldn't understand him and stuff and we would yeah. like be reading from his perspective or whatever yeah just the way that he talked about her was very nice yeah that's but fair. again he could was just very respectful the sun shines <laughs> out of her ass <laughs> the two suns both of them yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh, do you have any more that was it that was it all yep. right so let's rate him on a scale again i give him five for the good qualities the good butterflies. Yeah. Uh, honestly, you have merit there. I'm giving him a three. There are just some like very big drawbacks to me that prevent mm -hmm. that scale from going higher. See, that's fair. And I feel like I adjusted it still based on that. Because I still am like, yes, even more good quality. <laughs> <laughs> they did a really good job writing this alien damn it <laughs> for me specifically i don't know <laughs> yeah <laughs> but yeah Fair. all right so overall there's all that all those butterflies yeah. so now we get to rank him on this scale as well oh are these butterflies for my stream <laughs> <laughs> whoopsie <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> All right. Okay. Now, on this scale, uh, Alyssa, will you give us a rundown of that scale again? I do not have that. Oh, just kidding. Male wife, mansplain, manipulate, gaslight, gatekeep, and girl boss. <laughs> yeah. 
I love um, the scale so much because it's like also open for interpretation. And I feel like while I was kind of confused with some people's answers, I just love to hear people's explanations then too. So that's we'll fair. have to put that on the <clears throat> forms or something, or maybe get feedback. I don't know <laughs> for future yeah. episodes. Yeah, that's fair. I do. I would love to hear some people's thought processes. Yeah. Or maybe we'll have guests on. Who knows? This could be. <laughs> the possibilities are endless. <laughs> they really are. Hell yeah. All right. So what what did you rate him on this scale? Okay. On this scale, I think he's solidly, to me, mansplain. Mansplain? Um, yes. Mansplain. Sorry. Um, in general, just the nature of the book gives me major mansplain energy mm -hmm. because the men are just <laughs> constantly explaining things. Constantly. That's fair. But it yeah. is like survival stuff. Too, it, to be it is. fair. It's stuff that needs explained. Yeah. I just don't want to hear it. Like, <laughs> I just don't want to hear it. Well, yeah. yeah and also, <laughs> some of the women were just like, they were just very emotional mm -hmm. and then like maybe they wouldn't get it and it was right. i was just like yo we have some common sense right yeah that's fair so that's all you rated it that as was mansplain completely that's fair yeah i gave him I, a complete mansplain fair enough i did the thing where i broke it down again but i have three for him this okay. time so for mansplain, I have 25% mansplain. I have 50% male wife and 25% okay. girl boss. Because <laughs> he's a little bit of a girl boss himself, too. <laughs> I would say. I would kill in the I creatures and shit. Yeah, you know? I like your rating system better than mine. <laughs> I just couldn't pick one. It's really just because I was like, well, they have so many characteristics that are like, all of these <laughs> so yeah That's um fair. looking at our uh feedback ooh, i switched to the wrong slide whoops uh looking at our feedback from other people though that have read this it looks like 40 percent said mansplain uh 20 percent said gatekeep again i'm not sure not sure. I want to know what that means. I, I'm not <laughs> sure why people were getting gatekeep vibes from this, but okay, all right. And then also girl boss, which <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> mm -hmm. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I am surprised I, a little bit that no one else said male wife. That's fair. I because I almost said honest. I almost honestly just said mansplain and male wife but mm -hmm. i i had only really decided on mansplain so okay. i was gonna leave it alone that's fair that's fair i agree with male wife yeah. male wife is I a think good it one it's like slightly but again like i i understand why people would have picked other things over that so yeah yeah maybe that's maybe we should revise the forms a little bit somehow we'll have yes. to discuss that after to like yeah break it down a little bit more maybe but yeah, okay, what is next? Oh, our overall rating of the book. I believe yeah. that's the next section. So let's see, I think we gave our ratings beforehand. Yes. You were at a 3.5 out of 5, and I said a 4 out of 5. That's right. That extra 0.5 there <laughs> is just because Alyssa is a better person than I am. <laughs> About rolling with the punches. <laughs> about like, rolling with the punches. Yeah. <laughs> I am not. I'm I'm gonna drag my feet and I'm gonna complain. And that's just you have to accept that. Yeah. That's fair. <laughs> I feel like I may have rated it a little bit high, but also I just really liked how Vectal was written. I really did. Even though he non consensually, you know, Lick to pussy a little bit. <laughs> we need to look up what words we're allowed to say on here, but whatever. <laughs> I have a content filter. It's whatever. <laughs> like, yeah, it's fine. Uh, but yeah, so 
It was pretty good. I really liked it. We are going to do next week. I'll just transition to this now. We're doing the second book in this series because we were still a little bit intrigued by like the concept of the tribe and like where it was going from here. Um, and actually Adrian had started reading it because it was so good. <laughs> so <laughs> we just kind of continued, but so yeah, next week we are doing the second book in this series. Um, after that, I'm assuming I, we haven't really discussed this yet, but I'm assuming we will be switching genres to something else. That's, um, you know, not just aliens or whatever, but we're going to be all over yeah. the place on this podcast. So it's exploring romance across all genres. Yes, I'm yeah. looking forward to that. There's definitely some genres that I'm excited to read, and there are some other ones that might be like pulling teeth, but we're yeah. going to get through <laughs> all of it. <laughs> That's fair. But yeah, if you guys have any suggestions of like books we should read, um, if you guys have read this book already and want to like fill in the surveys that we have, um, we'll have a link to that on our YouTube channels in the descriptions. Um, I Do you have a link tree? If you guys want to find my YouTube channel, linktree slash Nibiru31 is the easiest way to find that. Uh, the channel URL is a nightmare. A goddamn nightmare. It's also just Nibiru31 for the channel on YouTube if you want to go uh, to YouTube directly and search it that way. Um, what about you? Want to plug anything? <laughs> yeah. Um, 